after passing the border, that's when the problems really began. On our first day in Scotland, we went to Glencoe, which is part of the highlands with like pretty mountains and stuff like that. The only problem was we didn't see much of that. It started to rain and it basically didn't stop. So because the weather was so bad, we just drove around, we didn't hike anywhere. Everything was muddy, everything was wet. I didn't even get out of the car because it was raining and I was scared of like killing my camera. In war, there's never an option to run. I had really expected like this super awesome epic valley because I had seen some pictures and everybody was talking about it, my parents were talking about it and well we didn't see anything, <laughs> like it was raining and you couldn't see far, you maybe could have seen 100 meters. Anna didn't even get out of the car, she stayed in it because it was pouring. I went out and got soaked, I was completely wet, my camera was never this wet before and it got soaked. So we stopped at a parking lot and we just sat in the car and played cards. It was bad. Like this probably was the worst day at all in Scotland for me. We also wanted to camp on that day. We hadn't booked a hotel or Airbnb or anything. We were just like saying, okay, that's the day we go camping. And then Scotland said no. And we had to figure out a plan B. So we kind of had to improvise. Uh, we decided to sleep in the car and we were looking for a place and we actually found one like under some trees. It was a nice spot. After we had stopped on a parking lot and played some cards, we headed back and the spot was taken. So after having driven for like 30 minutes, we decided to turn around, go back to the parking lot where we had been before and sleep there. So we're sleeping in the car and now we're gonna have to eat and then we forgot everything that you could think of. We don't have knives. Um, our other food supplies are in Anna's bag which is up there, cramped between the seats. <laughs> so we can't get that anymore because we now cleared the backspace of the car. Then, what else did we forget? Probably everything. Everything. I don't know. Yeah, but the point is, we need peanut butter, and we have bread, and we have yeah. jellies Jelly. in the bar. So instead of doing PBJs, we're gonna use this as dip. We're gonna dip the bread in both of them and then eat the fat bread. Okay. This is the last piece of bread. And what are we gonna do? The, the end piece. Of course it's fat. I'm gonna rip this. I'm gonna dip this. I'm gonna rip it. <laughs> this is really hard. Delicious. It wasn't. So the idea of dipping the bread was for me. Um, it worked great, totally. Not. So as dipping didn't work out, Max had to get out our utensils from uh, our luggage in the front seats. And I got them, luckily, because yeah, it kind of sucked with the dipping and all. 
With that, we kind of made it work. We didn't have to dip the bread anymore, so it was fine. We've got sparks. We found them. It's a spoon, it's a fork, and it is also a knife. So a spoon knife, spoon, spoon fork knife. In German it's Gabelmesserlöffel. Gabel Messer Löffel. You use the spoon and then you smear it onto the bread. And then you eat it. The night in the car was actually better than expected. I mean, I didn't have any back pains. I don't know how Anna felt. The night was dreadful. My back hurt, like it hurt so much. I don't think it ever hurt that much from sleeping. So the night was also bad because it was stuffy, but still cold. Because we had the window open like a little bit so we could get a bit of air in, but that air was cold, so it was, it was just so bad. <laughs> So we tried to get the car back working and put everything in the back and then we headed to our favorite um, restrooms that were in the next like little village and there I brushed my teeth and Anna could get herself ready and then we went back through the valley hoping it wouldn't rain, take some more pictures and it didn't rain for a total of 30 minutes then it rained again. During those 30 minutes without rain we did manage to take some pictures and there are some pictures I really like and like as a total series, I really like them because I was focusing also on like getting the entire moment and not just what was there. So I also took some details and I like that series, but because it started raining again, there was no point whatsoever to stay there. So we continued on to Glenfinnan. So then we went to Glenfinnan, which is um, one of the places where they filmed the Harry Potter movies. Glenfinnan was the beginning of our so-called Harry Potter day. And I think it probably was Anna's favorite day. We went to the Glenfinn Viaduct, which is a bridge that was used in the Harry Potter movies. And even though it was raining, it was like drizzling every now and then. And there were some short pauses. Um, we got some amazing pictures and I was able to fly the drone and it was awesome. We drove there and we parked at the train station, which was pretty cool for Anna because she got to touch the train. I touched the train. I know it's dumb, but I touched the train. It was great. And from there, we actually hiked to the Glenfinnan Viaduct. The Hogwarts Express is um, driving across that bridge on its way to Hogwarts. And we took some amazing pictures. We even saw the train go across it twice. It was really cool when the train arrived because it's like this old um, steam engine train and there was also the steam coming out. So it looked really cool, like all that white steam and you could hear the whistle blowing and like the... Next to the Glenfinn Viaduct, there's Loch Shiel, and that's the site of the actual Harry Potter castle. And I saw the castle because I'm a wizard and not a muggle like Max. He didn't see it, but I saw it. After having gone to Glenfinnan, we drove on and wanted to go to our Airbnb. We were on the way to our Airbnb when I discovered that there is uh, another site where they filmed the Harry Potter movies. Um, and it was actually from one of my favorite scenes. 
it's super windy, as you might be able to see, I hope you can hear the audio. And Anna is, oh no, she's right here. Yeah. Um, she's at one of her favorite places ever because she's freaking out because of Harry Potter, I guess. Yes. Hi. <laughs> it was kind of hard to get there because it wasn't like any, on any official route or anything. It was, we had to go through some mud and was wet and miserable, but it was worth it. And we got there, but she was like super excited. She had never been this excited before on the trip. She was running towards it and was like, ah, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go. And then she suddenly stopped because she noticed, oh wait, I need to take a picture. So she stopped, got the camera out, and then she had to take a picture. And then she was like, come on, we have to go. And so then she continued running towards it and was like, come on, come on, come on. Welcome to another episode of Anna Nerding Out. Today is Harry Potter location number three. Hi. So this is where uh, Dumbledore's grave is and this is like the exact location where Harry and uh, Lupin were talking and then looking out onto, onto this little aisle and then there was Hedwig flying and she was flying towards Hogwarts and it was turning into winter and it was great and it's one of my favorite scenes ever! Hi, I'm a nerd. <laughs> took some cool pictures and I mean it was another stop and it was another chance to just explore and afterwards we headed to probably one of my favorite Airbnbs because it was so comfortable. The house in which we stayed at it was really secluded like you didn't see any roads you didn't see uh, trains or anything it was you didn't even see um, the next door neighbors because it was like surrounded by forest and just looked out onto the sea. If you went out the back door, you only could see the ocean and some boats, but no other houses. Like it was in the middle of nowhere. The place was so small that when we went out to eat that evening, there were literally only two restaurants. The first one was booked solid. And in the second one, we actually got a place like we had a super tiny table and we had fish and chips and mussels. And it was really, really good. The mussels we got there were an appetizer. I remember we ordered them and the waitress actually asked us if we would like the big or the small portion and we said small portion but they already were like huge. It was this big plate with this much muscles. That evening when we got back to the Airbnb we uh, still went out to take some pictures um, like on the shore and then we saw some seals. They were just sitting um, on a rock in the middle of the water, being cute. It was pretty cool, and then we went to bed, and the bed was so comfortable, we fell into it, and then I don't remember anything else. I just blacked out. And perfect way to end the day after having slept in a car before. The next day we woke up and we had quite the dreadful message on our phone. I checked my emails and it told me that our ferry had been cancelled to the Isle of Skye. 